Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, so I wanted to do one last holiday video before Christmas comes. And really this video could work any time of the year, hypothetically, but this is also a really great idea for last minute holiday gifts for family or friends or coworkers. And so we're gonna be making some gift baskets today, a few different ones. We have a homemade gift box where we're making some cookies. These are delicious. And we also have a few different types of gift baskets. So let's just jump right in. The first basket I'm gonna make is like a girls night in pamper girly basket. So I just got a basket from Target. You can also get this filler from Target for just a dollar or so. And I'm gonna put that in there. And then I'm gonna fill the basket up with a few things. I got these convertible gloves from Target and a matching hat. I love those because you can turn them into mittens, but they're also um, fingerless gloves. So I got that, I'm gonna put that in there. And then I'm gonna put a few fun items in there like face masks and sheet masks and candy and just a few things so that when you give this to someone they can have a pampering night. I also put some exfoliating gloves in there. I talk about those a lot in my videos and I love those. Some Twizzlers or whatever their favorite candy is. So if you know what their favorite candy is, you can put a classic movie. I put a Christmas movie in there, but you can put any type of movie that'll last all year long. Some hand and foot cream and then some um, skincare products. So I just collected a few products that I think this person would like and I put a chocolate in there, some cleansing balm, and a few products from Fresh, a few masks and different things like that. So I really like this basket because again, you can do this during the holidays, but you can do this for birthdays or you can do this as gift baskets and you can go as crazy as you want with it. And it's kind of like a fun pamper girls night in basket. So you can wrap these in saran wrap and add a bow or you can just put them under the tree as is or give them as is. The next basket is also very similar in the sense that with all of these baskets, it's kind of about pampering the person that you're giving it to. But I would say this is maybe for a coworker or someone in your professional life that you know that if this is appropriate for them. But I'm adding some chocolate peanut butter pretzels, a bottle of wine, a candle, a planner, and some planner accessories. So depending on if this is a male or female, you can kind of adjust what you add in here. Um, and then I'm gonna add some chocolate and some tea as well. So this is kind of like a more chill, relaxed night in. Another thing I was thinking that would be great to add in here is some bath salts. You can even make some bath salts. I have a few recipes on my channel or you can buy some bath salts and put that in there. So another kind of relaxing night in type one, but a little bit different than the last one. I found these like really kind of interesting decor pieces. So I'm just putting that on the basket. And again, you can wrap it in saran wrap and put a bow around it. Um, and customize it however you want. But this is another idea for a gift basket for either coworkers or friends or whoever you think that this would be appropriate for. During this time of year, I've seen people be very giving in ways that you wouldn't necessarily think, like putting a basket out with water and treats for your UPS guy or the people who deliver to your house. What I wanted to make is a little basket to keep in my car for if I see someone who's homeless or someone in need, this is for a female. I put some tampons in there, some toothpaste, some face wipes, some mints, just things that I think really we forget that we have that make us feel human and sometimes people don't have around this time of the year. I have a toothbrush and I just happen to have this confidence in a cream and I thought, why not? I'll put a face cream in there. Maybe they'll appreciate a face cream. If you want, you can put money in there or a gift card to a grocery store. And I think if you see someone who needs that, it's a nice way to be giving around the holidays in a way that you wouldn't necessarily think right off the bat. Someone actually shared this idea with me and I loved it. And so next I'm making some homemade boxes. I used to do this a lot when I was younger when I, I liked to give gifts to a bunch of different people, but I didn't necessarily have the budget or know what to give to a bunch of different people. So I get white cake boxes at Michael's. They're pretty inexpensive. And then I take wrapping paper and I just wrap the boxes up and make them look really fun. So I took some of the wrapping paper I'm using this year that I got from Target and I just made sure it fit the top of the box and I'm using double-sided tape to tape it on there. And then I'm gonna fill these boxes with homemade goodies. And you can kind of do whatever you want to do. You can make whatever you want to make. But I'm making some peanut brittle and I'm gonna make some vegan chocolate chip cookies. So starting with the peanut brittle, I actually cut this recipe in half, but I am starting with corn syrup. So I'm gonna add the corn syrup and I'm also gonna add some sugar. I'm gonna give that a good stir and then I'm gonna add some dry roasted peanuts. Now all the exact measurements will be in the description below. 
Once I add the dry roasted peanuts, I'm going to stir that around. It had a little bit of sugar left in the <laughs> uh, measuring cup. And then I'm gonna stir that really good and then I'm going to let that cook over medium heat. Now the recipe that I had said to let it cook until it is 295 degrees, which you can tell the temperature if you have a candy thermometer, which my husband has a digital one. I was starting to notice that the peanuts were starting to get a little too dark, so I took it off at 289. I added the baking soda, and that really causes it to fluff up, and you can see it has a reaction there. It gets really creamy. And um, then I went ahead and I had a little bit of butter on the baking sheet, but I went ahead and spread that on a baking sheet, and um, you wanna flatten it out. So like I said, you wanna keep an eye on it because my peanuts got a little bit darker than my preference but it still tasted good so you want to let that dry it's going to take a it's going to harden and then that's going to take about an hour or so and then you can just break it up and you can put it in some saran wrap and put a bow around it and put it in your box and give it as a gift Peanut brittle is pretty popular and a lot of people like it, but you always want to make sure in case you're giving this to somebody who has allergies just to know or ask before you give it to them. If they have any allergies or just let them know what's in there. Next, we are making some totally delicious vegan chocolate chip cookies. I'm preheating the oven to 350 degrees. I'm starting with a flax egg, which is basically one tablespoon of ground flaxseed meal with some water. You mix that together and just stick it in the refrigerator and this acts as a replacement for an egg in a recipe. I mentioned this before in a previous video, but the person who films my video, Shane, he is a vegan, so a lot of times he helps find vegan recipes for me to try out on my channel, and this one was extra delicious. Um, I'm adding some palm shortening. Obviously, this is also vegan, and then I'm gonna add some coconut palm sugar. I added a little bit of vanilla extract and also some maple syrup, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a really good mix, and then it's time to add my flax egg, which hopefully has been in the refrigerator at this point for about 30 minutes or so. And I'm going to mix this together really, really good. As you can see, that has really gelatinized. Um, and again, that replaces an egg. Now you can certainly make regular chocolate chip cookies, but I got to say these were really mind-blowingly delicious. <laughs> I ate every single last one that I didn't give away and I was pretty obsessed with them and I did feel a little bit more healthy eating this because it had flax seeds in it and I used almond flour and coconut flour instead so as you can see here I'm adding the almond flour and then I'm going to add the coconut flour which the coconut flour gives it just the most amazing taste and I gotta say these cookies look a little bit different but I think a lot of people wouldn't be able to tell that they are vegan because they just taste so darn good. So even if you aren't vegan, give these a try because they are so delicious. Or you can make these for someone who is vegan. I am not vegan, but I'm always down to try out these recipes so that Shane can try them out. And also so that a lot of you guys who are vegan on my channel can try them out. And I have also lots of friends who are vegan as well. So um, plus they were so good. I'm definitely going to make them again. I'm adding some vegan chocolate chips and I'm going to mix this real good. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this on a baking sheet. I've already preheated the oven to 350 degrees. So I'm going to bake these for 15 to 20 minutes. Just keep an eye on them. And like I said, they do look a little bit different than a traditional chocolate chip cookie, but they are absolutely delicious. And these are actually a nice idea to put out for Christmas Eve for Santa. Maybe Santa's a vegan. Who knows? Maybe Santa wants a little bit of a healthier chocolate chip cookie. Maybe he will love these. Once these are done, I'm gonna let them cool and then I have some cellophane here. I think I said saran wrap earlier when I was talking about the peanut brittle, but I meant cellophane and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these up, put a pretty little bow and put these in the basket. Now you can do peanut brittle, you can do cookies. You There's so many different types of cookies you can do and you can totally customize this again, however you want for whoever you're giving this to. But um, yeah, I put these in there and then you can put a little note in there or a gift card or whatever you want. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bow on this box. And then you can put that under the tree and just let people know that there's, you know, perishable items in there and give it to people within, you know, a reasonable amount of time. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It gave you some last minute gift ideas and you try some of the recipes out or some of these ideas out. If you like my channel, please be sure to subscribe. Check out my last two videos. I think I'm pretty much done with holiday videos for now, but I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas if you celebrate it. And I'll see you guys with new videos very soon. Bye.